The attorney general's office calling the alleged mishandling of ballots by the town clerk unfair to the people of Hampton. But tonight, the board of selectmen chair tells us she's confident no one's vote was impacted. We are committing everything we have to um, restoring the faith in, in our community elections. It started with a complaint filed by Hampton Selectman Regina Barnes, raising concerns about how town clerk Shirley Dahini handled ballots for the Maytown election. Ten days later, the deputy town clerk resigned and raised more concerns about how the clerk handled the January presidential primary. Now, an attorney general's office investigation determining Dahini didn't follow multiple election laws, among them omitting affidavit envelope from 79 absentee ballots, processing 10 to 25 absentee ballots despite not being sealed in affidavit envelope and improperly signing the activity logs for ballot counting devices used. Her office also under fire for alleged errors made with ballots during Hampton's school district election. The AG's office saying, quote, these errors resulted in the town having to reprint the ballots multiple times and to resend corrected absentee ballots to some residents, which both created voter confusion and delayed the absentee voting process. Hansen acknowledging the procedural mistakes were a setback, but one she says the board will work to recover from. The state is going to be sending an election monitor and, and supporting the town clerk's, clerk's office during this transition. We've all not crossed the T or dotted an I. We're all fallible. Um, we are human beings, but that's why procedures are in place to be followed. And, and they weren't, and it was reported and investigated and found, and now uh, we will do everything in our power to, to correct it. And I have reached out to the town clerk directly throughout the night tonight, but at this point, we haven't heard back. In Hampton tonight, Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9. In commitment 2024, the Harris campaign in the White House firing back tonight at former President Donald Trump. He falsely questioned the vice president's race at the National Association of Black Journalists Convention. WMUR's Marissa Tancino here now with more on today. Marissa. Well, Steve, the interview almost immediately starting off contentious and quickly turned to the former president making false claims about Kamala Harris's race and her campaign and the White House firing back calls.